right, we're gonna get some little tasks done around here today and now uh, we'll take you along. Got that little bit done. Let's go find something else to do. Now we're gonna go around and get some maintenance done for the mini split. And to walk around here, we can actually uh, check out the tomatoes as we're coming through. Yeah, they're doing pretty well. You can get some more, it's gonna be uh, ripe here soon. Really what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some of the lines cleaned out on the mini splits. So let me show you how we do it. All right, so we got a little shot back here. First thing we're gonna do is make sure that our filter is off. And this is what I mean by the filter. You can see it's still in there, so we gotta get that pulled off. Make sure to pull the filter off. If not, it's gonna become just a mess because we're gonna be dealing with some water here. And this is where our drain lines for our mini splits come out next to, next to our little unit. So I got this, it's not glued, so I can pull this off. Just let that run for a couple minutes here. Let me show you how much water we got. All right, you can see we actually got, oh uh, yeah, it's probably about three quarters of a gallon of water in there. The reason that, you know, we do this, you know, cleaning out the lines once a year, it just, it'll build up a sludge. And then if you just let it keep building up, eventually it'll back up and then you'll have water basically before you know it coming down the walls inside your room. So to make sure we don't have that, I do this now. That way we can still run the AC a little bit more. So that way it still creates that little vapor barrier. So cold air can't come back up the tube in the winter time. And also not putting the shot back away quite yet because we're gonna let it dry out for a day or two before we do that. So you can see I got it just sitting here, still open so that way it can dry out. Now we're gonna go ahead to the lower garage because I need to tear apart an old temporary wood bin we had. Okay, and you can see here, this is the temporary wood bin that we had put together. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, dismantle this thing. All right, that was all tore apart. That was actually pretty easy. You can see the metal framework here and I have the wood stacked up right there. So they'll probably end up getting reused for something else. Now I think I'm gonna finish up. I have a little spot I need to patch on the, the wall outside where the, this temporary wood bin was sitting. So we'll show you what that is. In a previous video, you probably saw where I went through and chipped all that loose stuff off and refixed all of it. I have one spot that I have left to do yet, and that's actually right here because that bin was sitting in front of it, so I couldn't do it till now. All right, so we got a little bit of this put into here. I'm gonna get this mixed up and we'll get it put on. You can see here I got all my patches done. One other thing I need to do is clean these windows up on the outside, but I'm gonna let this dry, then we'll come back to that. Now we're trying something new. I got this to see how it would do with chainsaw chains. Got this contraption. It took me a while to figure out how everything works, but I got it all kind of set up now. So you have this little, basically, grinding wheel that will slip through. All right, so that goes in there and you can crank this to sharp, sharpen the blades. So I've gone through and I'm just still playing with this. And I won't know fully how well it works until actually I have to go try to cut it. So I got one side done now, let me try doing the other half. Yeah, I'm not sure how this thing is actually dealing with it, but it seems to get a little sharper. So we're, I'm gonna try it on the bigger chain instead of just this little one, see how it goes. So after trying that on the, the bigger chain, I realized that that thing's, uh, it's just, it's garbage. I'm gonna see about returning that um, I'm gonna go back to my old one. The way I like to do it is basically rat tail file on a drill, and that seems to work pretty well. So I just finished up this chain and redid that one with my file. So these are all ready to go for the next time. And that concludes today's little day in the life. And if you could, I'd greatly appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. That really helps the channel out a lot. Thank you.